Smart Cam app provides various features and settings that enable you to see the live video and play back the event of the registered camera. You can also go to the Samsung Smart Cam site and access the camera settings using the web viewer. Open the Smart Cam app and log in with your ID and password. Once you log in, it will display the list of cameras you have. Select the camera you want to view and enter the camera password you've assigned when you registered the camera. Now you can see the live video. The toolbar below gives you access to different settings. Tap on the arrow to view more settings. We will review each of the settings one by one. The first button is for manual recording. If there are any videos you wish to record while monitoring, you can tap on the manual recording icon to save the video on the SD card. The camera icon allows you to automatically save an image to your smartphone's photo album. The next is the two-way talk feature. Tap on the icon and a microphone will appear. While pressing on the mic, talk, and your voice will be delivered through the camera speaker. You can have a full conversation with this cool feature. And the HQ icon allows you to watch the video in a higher resolution. The music note icon lets you play music through the camera. There are pre-recorded tunes you can select from. On the next set of settings, you can adjust the brightness of the live video and modify the up, down, left and right directions of the video according to the location of the camera. If there are specific areas where you want to detect movements and receive alerts, you could use the Motion Zone Select feature. Click on the Motion Zone icon and you can drag a square around the areas you want to monitor. You can designate up to three areas. The recording feature allows you to play the voice you recorded. If there is no saved voice, you can record a 30 seconds message. When you finish recording, let's return to the previous screen. Here, you can check the video information on the camera you are looking at by tapping the Info icon. If you want to see a wider view of the video, rotate the smartphone. To remove the settings bar from the view and only see the video, lightly touch the video. You can also digital zoom into the video and move it to any directions at your convenience. You can access more settings by going back to the camera list. Once there, click on the menu icon. The menu page has four options. The first option goes to the live video. Hit the smartphone's back function and go to the next option, event detection. The screen will show you any motion detection or the audio detection that was recorded on the SD card. If you have linked the camera to your Picasa account, you can check the detected event's image. The playback option allows you to review any recorded videos. Select the day you want video access to and the type you would like to see. Next, move the blue circle to the time you want to view the videos from. Confirm the time and click Play. Go back to the menu and select the Setup option. It'll bring you to five different setting options. In General, you can change the camera name and speaker and mic volume. In the Voice Recording section, you can play, edit, and delete the recordings. Turning the night vision button on enables you to see in the dark by activating the IR LED to produce a black and white video. WDR is a function that alleviates the occurrence where people or objects are backlit due to the strong lights coming through the window. Select display date and the date and time will appear on top of the video. 
If you save the camera's password, you can access the live video feed without entering the password every time you log in again. For extra security, you can change your password from time to time. Just enter your current password for verification and then the new password. You can turn off the LED light on the camera since the light might be distracting. You can also check to see if you have the latest firmware. If there is a new firmware, you will receive notification and update. In the network settings, you can change to wireless network if you are currently connected via the Ethernet cable. In the time settings, you can change the camera's time zone and the daylight savings time. For event settings, you can change whether or not you will receive notification when events occur, the sensitivity for the motion and audio detection, and linking to your Google account. Linking to Picasa with a Google account allows you to receive the image of an event that happened. If you don't have an account, click on Move and register for one. The SD card settings provide you options to record video with the SD card you inserted into the camera. Overwrite the existing video with the new video when there is not enough storage space left and lets you see how much memory is left on the card. You can also format the card from the app. In the Setup tab on the top of the screen, it enables you to change the settings of the app. You can select to automatically log in, change the alarm preference such as sound, vibration, or no sound. The next tab allows you to check detailed information such as the version, creation date, and the copyright of the app. Now that you are familiar with the features and settings of the SmartCam HD Pro app, you can navigate through the app with ease. Protect yourself and your family anytime, anywhere.